Hello, Prim friends. So I am here at Bonnie Galloway's cabin in the woods. And we're gonna go on inside and take a tour of this beautiful home. So she said the front part of the cabin was actually built in 1983 and they bought it uh, many years later, but then added this portion here on the side and of course did lots of changes and updates to the inside of the house. But it is just stunning. And they have a business of prims and, and some antique things, but these cabins are primarily uh, what they do. So, oh, they will be at the Miss Molly show in Pennsylvania. And then Bonnie is having an open house here on September 15th and 16th. And I'll make sure to put all the information in the description and hopefully on the screen as well. And actually, she's going to have a live event on Facebook this week on Wednesday. So you definitely want to make sure that you are uh, watching for that. So let's go on in and check it out. And this is their little porch that they closed in, screened it in. Oh goodness. Love that. Bonnie Gallo or the Galloways. How cute is that? And the little light there on the with the candle. It's just so prim and just gorgeous. And everything in its place. And we'll see her kitchen is right there. How cute. So one of the shows that Bonnie also does is at the Gathered Treasure Show. So if you saw that one, that video, if you haven't checked it out yet, make sure you do. I've got that one online and I'll make sure to link that one as well. And so here is the kitchen portion of the cabin. And this part she said was the original part of the kitchen, but at that time it was sort of an eat-in and now they've moved some of the cabinets and added this incredible primitive island here in the center. That stove is amazing. We'll take a little peek in that way for the cage bar, but We'll check that out here in a few. And there's going to be some changes here coming up to the layout. Her husband's going to be building an apothecary type cupboard for her. And they're going to add another, a second oven for all the baking of the gingerbread things that she does. So that will be happening over in that area and an apothecary cabinet up on top. And if you look there to the side, you'll get a peek of that beautiful stone fireplace in that two-story cabin there. And her shop is actually in the upstairs portion of that, of that part of the building. Just beautiful. The colors are so warm and cozy. And there's a stencil. You can see there's a, a cranberry scoop. Love the artwork and the little make do chair. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to ask her about the bathroom shower curtain. How absolutely charming is that? Just 
just beautiful. Look at that clawfoot tub. So if you think that we can't make our current homes um, primitive or early looking, you know, even the bathrooms, it can it can be done. Love that little board there with the hooks for the early looking bonnets. And that beautiful pattern, the china pattern inside. The early corner cupboard just goes so well. These curtains. And the gourds hanging. And look at the size of this dining table. Very dramatic. And with the beam going right all the way across. Amazing. I love this paint trim color. I think she said that was called cobblestone, but I'll definitely ask. And the early light fixture look. And lots of the dried gourds. A pretty dry sink. Oh, how cute. <clears throat> you know, today, in, in at one time, they were much more pricey. But what a beautiful display for a cradle up there they're not um, the prices are much more reasonable lately so if that's something that that certainly makes a beautiful look that fireplace is just stunning oh and look at the Every direction, something to see. Look at that beautiful slant top desk. <clears throat> the dried pineapple. And that gorgeous loft here in the cabin. So Bonnie's, Bonnie and her husband both are the ones building these beautiful cabins together and he works uh, full time, so this is all definitely a labor of love to be bringing these incredible prim pieces to to their customers and these shows. So I wonder if you have one of these cabins. Would love to see pictures. Look at the little, the uh, little, yeah, towel dryer there on the corner. And the refrigerator is here in this big painted cupboard on the corner. And the dishwasher is hidden away as well. That stove is just beautiful. All right, let's go head in and we'll check out this beautiful cage bar. Oh, they're just every corner, there's something to see. Love those barrels and the firkins and the storage boxes and the beautiful baskets. And so I'll let you know again, make sure you put it on your calendar, September 15th and 16th. They are having their open house here, and I'll make sure that the information for where this is located, they are in Bethesda, Ohio, on Rogers Road.
the these curtains here are the linen curtains from Ginny Curry's and that cap cabinet there holding more of the storage storage buckets and that beautiful cage bar just a nice mixture of the early green bottle glasses and the pewter pewter goblets the early looking pipes oh my goodness so charming just gorgeous and you can see out the window this gorgeous oasis of cool blue water Bonnie said they built um, and put the swimming pool in before they put this addition on but they happened to put it in just the right area so she said her husband was really good about having that forethought about where it could and should where it could and should go and would fit for the future changes that might come down the path here for this beautiful home look at this amazing laundry room how charming is that so the wall color is a little bit darker so sweet the little aprons and the little brooms back in the corner there on the peg rack beautiful the painted floor cloth and the dried beans I'm not sure I've mentioned those in some of the videos before but in the early days and I my understanding is it came actually from our um, from the Indian uh, population that lived here in this country that they would dry they would grow the beans and dry them and ha hang them on a string like that and when the English um, when the settlers came they took it um, took the tradition on as well and for whatever reason they became known as leather breeches so those dried beans hanging from a string are known as leather breeches and check out this view this beautiful lofted cabin and again there's a set of French doors and those are the Ginny Curry linen curtains or towels it's just all it depends on how you use them and how you hang them they have the little patches in them as well and then this gorgeous gorgeous stone fireplace the flag bunting, the gourds with what looks like walnuts perhaps in between. Just beautiful. So we'll head on up in just a minute to her shop area. The items that will be available for the live are not up there. There may be a couple, but for the most part they are not. So that will be a nice big surprise. I'll put the information on for where you'll be able to find the live sale that will happen on Wednesday. Another beautiful, beautiful cabinet. And then if you look, I'll just take a quick peek here. You see that? early box there from East Alton, Illinois, and it's filled with with doggy toys. I love the 
hiding of them, hiding them in plain sight, but in that beautiful primitive box. Furniture is just beautiful. And then their master bedroom here. Beautiful cabinet, just gorgeous. And that log bed, a beautiful linen bedding. Stunning. There's no place like home. So, so true. I'm going to do a separate video of the outside and the gardens by the pool. So make sure you keep watching. Make sure you like and subscribe because that helps you get the notice when a new video is available to watch. And I do hope that you will share on your social media pages. And that just helps more people find these wonderful shops here and around Ohio. That chandelier is just stunning. She said, Bonnie said that that is made from resin. It looks very real, but it is a resin, resin piece. So we'll go up these log stairs to the area where her shop area is located. And she said it is rather picked over at the moment, but they will have so much more for the open house on September 15th and 16th. So you don't want to miss that. It is definitely worth the drive. And you want to go in through Barnesville. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> Somehow my GPS took me down some back roads and it was certainly a beautiful drive. But she said that they had had quite a storm last night and so I finally got to a point where I, I ran out of road, basically, and had to backtrack. So, you'll want to make sure that you follow, follow the directions going through Barnesville carefully, and uh, you'll be, yeah, you'll be just fine when you go through town and not the back roads. It is certainly worth, certainly worth the drive here. Love the, love the gourds and these, these pieces that are hung from the hooks from the ceiling just give it, there's just such a nice another uh, way to hang things and display. And they don't have to be, they're not on a cabinet, they're not on the wall, they're just literally hanging from hooks and ropes from the ceiling from some twine so you could certainly do that it's it's a ladder looks like a ladder and then a board or two on top very clever love those curtains here in these these parts of the cabin. So absolutely, make sure you follow her Facebook page and more information will be there about the, and this is the first time this live that she's going on um, on Wednesday will be a first time. So you'll definitely want to get 
online through Facebook to be able to watch that. But again, she's doing a show at Miss Morgan's in Pennsylvania and also the open house. And like I said, she was at um, Gathered Treasures. Love that. Little red bed there, beautiful. And the little fence section, the bittersweet. More of that area will be filled and with the cabins. Love that bunny. And this sweet cabin here hanging on the wall with the flag. Wait till you see the cabins outside that they do. Oh my goodness. And this cabin here. Beautiful. So if you've been at her um, stands in some of the shows, her booth in some of the shows, you'll might recognize this portion right here, this little early tin piece and then the little um, it's like a little porch right there. So cute. Just so charming. All right, well, let's go ahead and we will end this one right here. Or maybe I'll just go on and walk down, walk you all back downstairs and we will walk around in the garden for the next one and see some of the cabins that are available. Oh my word. Well, this is definitely an adventure that I am bringing you all on right now because I this feels like a one lane road. I'm not even sure I am in the right place, but we are close, hopefully, to getting to Bonnie Galloway's back to her cabin. Wow, I understand why it's called that. So I'm going to put this down and continue on this path and hopefully, hopefully, um, we'll get there soon. ever, ever been so happy to see that sign. <laughs>